Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate somebody's uh, age when the only thing you got are th is this person's uh, birth date. I had done a previous video uh, where we did the same thing. Uh, in that previous video we used a lot of uh, functions in order to achieve that goal. In this video we're going to do it way easier and way simpler, yet we still have the same precision. Now. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, let me put today's date. Let's say today is the 27th of August 2012. And now I have to, I want to calculate the age. Well, the first time I'm calculating the age is take the difference between today and that person's birth date. And those, are the, those are the number of days between today and the 11th of December 1914. Now, the next step is to divide that number, the number of dates, by the number of days per year. And remember, we have 365 days per year, and every four years we have one day extra for uh, a so-called leap year. So we have to divide by 365.25 to account for that uh, extra day every four years. And the reason I'm putting the parentheses here is to make sure that uh, first the difference gets calculated and then that difference gets uh, divided by 365.25. And now we have that person's age. Now, what I want is to get rid of all those points behind the decimal. I don't want it to round up because it it should it should it should oh, the, the, the the that person's age is anything ahead of the decimal those numbers should be ignored why i'll show you um let's take the 10th of december uh 2014 uh, 2013 that guy is uh, the calculation says that guy is 90 years old and uh, 98 years old and that's right that's correct and if we take it to 11.12.2013, then he's 99. You see? And let me go back. 12.2013. Now he's 98 again because we're one day ahead of his birthday. Now, if I round up, I'll have 99, which is wrong. So that's why I have to get rid of those anything behind the decimal. And the way to do that is to use a function called round down. Now, how does round down work? Let me let me do an example here. Uh, I'll call up the function wizard. By the way, I'm using uh, LibreOffice here. Uh, you can use any any uh, you can use that function wizard in Excel as well. I mean, it looks pretty pretty much the same. Uh, and the easiest way to find to find the function you need is go into all and then go down. They're all listed alphabetically and round down is under R. Now round. Round does normal rounding, you know, anything, uh, you know, uh, if you got like 0.5, that gets, gets rounded up to uh, 1, and if you got 0.4, that get, gets rounded down. Round down, is it round down, it, it rounds down anything. And that's what we need, because we have here 0.99, it has, it has to go, everything has to go down to 0. So, round down, and it takes two parameters. The number, let me let me put in any number, 5.69. And here, count is, is a bad name for that uh, parameter. What is meant is to how many decimal uh, places do you want to round down to? And in this case, in our case, we, none. We don't want any decimal place because we just want to have the whole number. So we put in zero. Okay, and there you go. It, what, what this function did, it rounded down 5.69 down to, z uh, uh, to, uh, to 5, okay? And the zero is no places after the comma. By the way, you notice I'm putting in 5 comma 69. That's, that's because I'm using a German OS here. And uh, in Germany, they use a comma instead of a, a decimal point. Don't worry about that. If you have, if you have a normal uh, English system then or US system, then just use 5.69, uh, 5.69. All right, so now we're gonna apply round down to our calculation here. And the way to do it, here I've done it with the wizard. Here I'm gonna do it manually. And the way to do it is just 
right round down open parentheses now all this whole calculation is the number it's the first parameter of the round down function and then I put a semicolon now comes the second parameter ie the number of decimal places we wish to have we said none so zero and then close parentheses of the round down function so now we have the age as a whole number exactly the way we wanted it and if I now change to 11 12 I get 99 okay if I go two days ahead of his birthday I'm back to 98 okay so that's a simple way to calculate somebody's age if the only thing he got is his birthday and if you want to turn that even better let's say if nobody if somebody didn't put today's date what do you do well you got here uh, not that cool so we can we can extend that with a with a with some uh, with, with a with a if function and say if that is zero then we can use the same function we did yeah sorry take the whole thing copy that paste it and round down not C5 but today's date okay and then add a semicolon here and then close the parentheses let me see if it works yeah perfect what I did right now is I added an if function and that if function does the following if you have nothing in here then it takes today's date or, or basically does the following it calculates this person's age based on today's date however if you put something in here then now it calculates that person's age based on the date you give in here and if I take that day off now it calculates to today's date and the function is the following it's a normal if function and if function has three or requires three parameters first of all the logical part and the logic is basically what's the condition the condition is if this thing is empty then well, it's basically I, what I did. I copied the function we had before, the whole thing, the whole round down thing. And basically, I only changed one thing. Instead of C5, instead of C5, where today's date is supposed to go in, I put another function called today. And today, open parentheses, close parentheses. So that means today's date minus C3. C3 is, is where that person's birthday it is. And the rest is the same, you know, divided by 365.0 and the whole thing gets round down. Okay, that's, so I put, I put a condition in here. So if that is empty, then use this uh, calculation, the selected calculation, which basically uses today's date as, as, uh, as, um, as the current, well, yeah, as, as, well, yeah, it uses today's date as a, uh, to subtract then uh, uh, this person's birth date from otherwise and this this is here the, the the second bit this is the else bit else or otherwise calculate whatever is in here or calculate this person's age with whatever is in here so this way no matter if somebody gives uh, inputs any data or not you have a correct calculation now i haven't put anything in well that's that's that person's birth date uh calculated from today and today we have uh if i'm not mistaken it is the 27th of august uh 2012. okay it's the same thing actually that shouldn't change at all because if i put in 20 that's today's date you see it doesn't change however now we're one year older and he's still 98 in 2013 because we haven't reached his birthday. Once we get 11.12.2013, he gets to be 99. 
There you go. That's the way you calculate age. Very simple uh, thing, and you don't need a lot of functions. Actually, you're only we only needed one function, this round down function. That thing with the if is just a nifty little thing. So uh, you know, if you just want to uh, calculate somebody's age from today's date, you don't have to do anything. Just don't put in anything and just um, it'll calculate that for you. Now, the nice thing about this calculation is that if you save this, uh, <clears throat> this worksheet and open it anytime you want, you always have a correct uh, calculation of somebody's age. You don't, have, you, mean, you don't have to do anything except put somebody's birthday and uh, you have got this person's uh, age. Another thing you could do is if you have a database or a table and you know you have like name you have like name and surname and then birthday oops what am i doing birthday and now here age you don't want to input age in the database because you know age is going to change all the time here you put you just put in this formula you just put in well not the whole if thing but basically that thing in here, I think I write, uh, yep, that's right. And then all you have to do, uh, I mean, you put in here data and all I have to do then is just drag the thing down to as many, uh, you know, to cover for all your, uh, for your whole data set. And you have then a precise age calculation and whenever you open that database, that age is always correct. Versus if you input, if you type in the ages, they're never going to be correct because, you know, a year later, you have to update all those ages manually. And with this formula, you don't have to do anything. Just do, just, you know, input this formula, drag it or autofill it down, and that's it. You're done. You never have to touch 